this is Steven, and today we're going to be making anything explode in Cinema 4D. We're going to be making something that looks a little bit like this. Now the plugin that I'm using is called Throwsite. It's free by Nitro 4D, and I'll give you the link in the description. But uh, let's get started. I'm going to delete all this, and we're going to start fresh. So the first thing I want to explode is going to be a cube. Now you can do this with text, but just for this example, I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to put in a floor. Before we do anything, I'm going to put both of these as rigid bodies, so it does what we want it to do. So simulation, dynamics, create rigid body, then I'll select the floor and do the same thing. Simulation, dynamics, create rigid body. What this does, it'll make it more like a physical object and it'll fall and it have gravity and stuff like that. Now to select, the, or we're going to select the cube and then after you install the Throwsi, you're going to go into plugins, Throwsi, Throwsi. And with this you can change how many pieces you want to break into, so I'm going to put 12 pieces and hit break now. And it'll do that automatically for me. After that, we can see that it just falls apart like that, but that's really boring. So what we're going to do is make it explode make it pop out. So I'm going to make a sphere and we're going to give it the same bodies, the same rigid body as the cube and we're going to place it inside of it. So we're going to select the sphere, go back to simulation, dynamics, create rigid body and now if we place it inside of it we can see that it explodes. But we don't want that sphere staying there after it explodes. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up to here we're going to hit these two buttons, make them both green, then hit it again, and make them both red. What that'll do, it'll make the object invisible and not be able to be seen. So, it'll turn out something like that. Now that's pretty much it for the tutorial, but if you want the explosion to be delayed, all you have to do is select both the sphere, well, we'll do these separately, but we're going to do this. click on the sphere first, go down to dynamics body, hit control on this until it becomes red hit it again and that'll create a keyframe that says it's not enabled and let's just say for example we're gonna move it to frame 20 before it actually should do something so we're gonna hit that till it becomes red again and then it should become enabled a rigid body at frame 20 and we're gonna do the same thing for the cube we're going to go to dynamics body uncheck enabled Click it till it becomes red, creates a keyframe, control click it, then go back up to frame 20, check it, hit it till it becomes red. So now, it should wait till frame 20 to explode. Just like that. Alright guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. I thought it would be pretty nice something to do like this for a change. If you guys want to check out our website, it's right here. Like I said beginning, the link for this plugin is in the description, it's free. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please comment, like this video, subscribe if you want to. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.